terminologies in this while designing any tension member you have to find out what is the tension carrying capacity of that particular section okay now while calculating the section capacity uh, we come across some of the terms like net sectional area effective net area then types of failure okay so we shall see all these concepts through uh, three different design strength of tension members okay there are three ways uh, the strength of tension member can be evaluated as per is code okay uh, so there are three ways and out of the three uh, values minimum of the three will be considered as design strength of the tension member let us see what is first way of calculating the design strength uh, first is design strength due to yielding gross section it is designated by t suffix dg okay d stands for design g stands for gross t is tension okay design strength due to yielding gross section second is rupture strength of critical section it is designated as tdn then third is block shear strength t d b so let us see one by one how to calculate as per i score this uh, design strength t d g is given by this equation gross cross sectional area a g into yield stress f y divided by gamma m f y is yield stress of the materials and since this is uh, mild steel f y is usually 250 newton per mm square okay and for mostly all the problems we will select f y as 250 newton per mm square then a g is gross cross sectional area gamma m o is the partial safety factor for failure in tension by yielding which is given by is 800 as 1.1 <clears throat> okay uh, so this is first design strength this is how you have to calculate second design strength due to rupture of critical section uh, so this is given by tdn is equal to 0 0.9 an fu upon gamma m1 an is the net effective area at critical section uh, which is net area is given as uh, this lengthy equation n is the number of volts d0 is the diameter of volts uh, g is <coughs> gauge distance t is the, thic uh, t is the thickness <coughs> p is the force si is the uh, distance between the two volt uh, volts okay uh, so for threaded rods if the bolts are having threaded rods for such threaded rods uh, this is the equation 0 0.9 an fu upon gamma m1 <coughs> where an is the net area at the threaded section how to find out this area using this equation so there are two alternatives okay if there are bolts and if there are uh, threaded areas okay so if normal bolts are used you will use equation of an like this okay this one and if the bolts are threaded rods then net area will be using this equation okay where p is pitch of the thread please remember in both the equations i said p is as force but no it is p is pitch of the thread and you can uh, round off the above equation as 0 0.78 pi by 4 t square for iso threads now when you have to design the tension member what you have to see is 
what is the capacity of the section and what is the load coming on the section if your design strength is more <coughs> than your the given load then you have to uh, consider that particular section and not only the section is to be selected you have to design also the number of bolts or the design of joints we say it means you assume or design bolt diameter its spacing is its pitch and the section okay so whenever a member is to be designed you have to select the section and you have to design the bolts also it means bolt diameter and number of bolts okay uh, so this is for normal bolts and threaded rods how to evaluate net area now this is one uh, thing uh, where bs what is bs bs is width of this outstanding leg plus wi minus t what is wi 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 is the uh, distance of uh, bolt diameter or the center of the bolt to one side of the leg minus t t is the thickness of the section okay and second thing when there is no bolting then bs is w okay bs will be w and if there are bolts connected then you have to consider the distance of the section up to center of the bolt only okay as the effectiveness of outstanding leg is less which outstanding leg either this leg or this leg in both the diagrams vertical uh, part its effectiveness is less because it is not connected to gusset plate okay it is not connected to gusset plate this leg we are talking about so the effectiveness of this leg is less design strength as given by rupture at net section okay is given by this equation 0.9 into amc into fu upon gamma m1 plus beta into ago into fy upon gamma m now what are the meaning of different terms in the equation amc is the net area of connected leg okay i will you find net area of connected leg let us say you if you take this example here only this rectangular part you have to consider this leg okay so its width now there are two cases if bolting is done you will consider width as wi okay into thickness and if there is no bolting then you consider w as the total width into thickness provided this is equal angle section so you will come to know this while uh, solving the numericals okay uh, so if there are bolting or there are bolted connections then width of the outstanding leg or connected leg should be uh, less okay uh, so this is net area of connected leg ago is the cross area of outstanding leg the leg which is not connected to the plate okay and beta beta is a factor okay it is given by 1.4 minus 0.076 into wyt into fy by fu into ps upon lc this should be less than or equal to this ratio okay and this ratio should be more than or equal to 0.7 it means this ratio should lie between this value of beta and 0.7 okay w what is w outstanding leg width <coughs> that we have seen in the previous diagram which comes here in the equation of beta then bs shear leg width okay shear leg width lc is length of end connection so how to calculate these uh, parameters 
we shall see in the numericals. T is thickness of the leg. Okay. For preliminary design, IS code recommends one equation. TDN is equal to alpha into AN into FU upon gamma M1. It, it means if we don't have this data, uh, which data? These values, BS, LC, T, and so on. You can use this equation in order to select the section. Okay. Here, alpha is 0 0.6 for one or two volts. Then, 0 0.7 for three volts. 0 0.8 for four or more number of volts. Okay. So, AN will be a net area. FU is ultimate uh, stress. Gamma M1 is a partial safety factor. And these values, these are already there in the IS code. And these are standard values. You can extract these values from IS code, substitute alpha as per the number of volts, and you can uh, evaluate the preliminary tension carrying capacity of the section. Uh, so that was second part or second strength we saw, which was which was design strength due to yes rupture of critical section. And which one will be critical section? Usually rupture will take place here where the bolting has been done. Okay. Now third design strength we shall see it is block shear strength. Uh, so <coughs> IS 800-2007 recommends following block shear strength TDB if bolted connections are used. It should be smaller of two things or two values. One is this uh, block shear strength evaluated using this particular equation. Or this is second equation. Okay, so what are the meaning of different terms here? AVG. AVG is here. This is minimum gross area in shear and AVN uh, should be I think ATN. Uh, this is uh, net area in shear. Okay. And ATG, what is ATG? ATG is here. This is minimum gross at net and net area in tension. So ATG is gross area, minimum gross area in tension, and AVN is uh, minimum net area in tension. So how to find these areas we shall see 